All right, so before we get too much further into this whole thing, let's get familiar with how to uh, work around this interface a little bit better. So let's start with the scene view. We can talk about how we can move around in this view. And the way you do it is you hold down the Alt key and then you push, push the left mouse button and that allows you to tumble. This is very similar to a lot of other 3D apps. Holding down the Alt key and using the middle mouse button will let you pan and then the uh, Alt key plus the right mouse button will allow you to zoom in and out. Um, the, uh, the, the other thing you can do is you can also uh, use the spacebar F key to uh, kind of frame uh, everything or your selection. So if I say select this light and hit the spacebar F key, I'm now um, sort of focused on the light. Over in the network view here, if I select the camera one and hit spacebar F, it focuses in on the uh, camera one. Hitting spacebar H will kind of home the camera and sort of frame everything. And, um, and yeah, so those are sort of some framing controls that work inside of the scene view. Um, the other thing that is uh, kind of important is the split view. Um, so up here in this menu, there are a bunch of different um, options for different views. Like if you want a four view, um, you can do that. You get your top, front, right, and perspective views like so. And navigation is the same in those as well. Um, then uh, we can go back to our single view like this and the other uh, thing that we can do is um, let's just get back into our camera view um, by using this menu right here. So we've got our perspective view. You can also set your view like this. You can set you want to be in the top viewport. You can just straight up select it here and likewise you can also just select which camera you want to look through. So from this no cam menu I'm just going to just select the camera one and we're back to where we were just a second ago. Other things that are important are um, some stuff up here. So if we want to switch to a wireframe view, you can kind of do that here. There's a bunch of different view options. I like to usually work in smooth shaded or smooth wire shaded. Uh, those are sort of my, my favorites. Um, also, there's this ghosting options right here. Uh, we're, I'm, we'll come back to this in just a second, but then, um, so those two are up there. And then the other thing that is uh, kind of handy to know about are the different lighting modes. So these are different quality lighting modes, which um, you can kind of see that the lighting quality changes when you uh, select them. Um, by default, I think it was on this and no lighting mode, just like sort of default lighting mode, headlight only, is uh, this option right here. So those are your lighting options. And there are more options uh, underneath, uh, no, more uh, viewport lighting options. Uh, when you hold down on these, they kind of, it pops out and gives you more options to choose from uh, when you want to add uh, different kind of viewport effects to your um, to your scene view here. Another thing that's handy is the uh, visibility one. It looks like a little pair of sunglasses here. If you just hold down on that, you can kind of turn off like things like lights. Like if you don't want to see the lights, you can just come down here to lights and make those disappear um, or not. So those options are there for um, how you can kind of get around your scene view.